Hey Robot Makers, do you want to learn how to use your Raspberry Pi as a backup device for your Mac? Then this is the show for you. So let's dive straight in, my name's Kevin, come with me as we build robots, bring them to life with code and have a whole load of fun along the way. So let's take a look what you'll need for this project. First of all, you'll need a Raspberry Pi. A four or five will work fine, but a five is preferable. If you're gonna use the USB storage, the Raspberry Pi 5 is slightly better. So the first thing we need to do is just make sure our Raspberry Pi is up to date by doing sudo apt update. We can also do sudo apt upgrade once this is complete to install any updates. The dash Y just automatically installs them. We're also gonna remove any other packages that are not needed. Next, we need to install Samba and Samba-Common. This will install the file sharing capabilities for the Raspberry Pi. We now need to edit the smb.conf file. This is the config file for all the file sharing. So we're simply gonna add a new section in here that's called Time Machine in some square brackets. And we can give this a name by using the comment equals. I'm gonna call this Raspberry Pi 5 Time Capsule. Next, we need to specify the path. This is the path to the location where the files will be shared from. We also need to create that later on. Browsable means that you can see this from the finder. Read only means that it isn't protected and guess means that we haven't got any anonymous users connecting to this. I've also gone back and I've added a couple of extra things here. We've got valid users equals Kev, which is my user account. Write list, which is also Kev. VS objects, which is Katia fruit streams underscore X ATR, which is extended attributes. Fruit colon APL equals yes. And fruit colon time space machine equals yes as well. And then we do control X and then S to save. Next up, we need to create a samba.service file. And this is for the Avahi service, which is like Bonjour on Linux. And this will enable us to see the file share from our Mac. So we go ahead and do sudo nano samba.service inside the correct folder. And I'm just gonna paste this in. This is available from kevsrobots.com slash time machine. You can grab this uh, XML file here. And this is basically the magic that makes all this work. We now need to create a user account on the Samba. So we do sudo smb password, it's passwd, dash a, and then the user account, I'm using Kev. Type in a password, type it in again, and then you're good. We also need to create the folder itself. So to do this, we do mkdir, which is make directory, forward slash home, forward slash Kev, forward slash time capsule. I've actually already got this one created, so it's gonna complain about that. And then we do change mode. So sudo chmod, this will change the file permissions, 777 dash capital R, and then the path again, forward slash home, forward slash kev, forward slash time capsule. We can now restart those two services. So sudo system control, restart Samba and Avahi daemon. Over on the Mac, if we now look at this machine, Devo 4, we can see there's a time machine share. And if I create a new folder in there and say, hello world, for example, we'll be able to see this over on the Raspberry Pi. So if I flick over to the Raspberry Pi, you can see now under time capsule, we've got that folder, hello world. So over here on the Mac, we have the system preferences. And if I go up to here and type in backup or time machine, we can click on that. And we've got the time machine preferences there. I've actually got a time machine running at the moment, so what we can do is we can click on the plus button there and it will display the name of any time machines that it can see on the network. And we just created this new one. Uh, this is actually Devo3, which is another one. And we simply go through, click on the setup disks, uh, click on any buttons that pop up there. I'm just gonna type in my password to authenticate this as Kev. And then it will ask me a password to encrypt the file with. So I'm just gonna type in a password here click on done and that is now ready to be used so you can have as many different time machine backups as you like i've got one here which is an external drive and we've also got these network drives as well so i hope you enjoyed this short video and i shall see you next time bye for now